Hello everyone! How are you doing tonight? I hope y'all are doing well. I am doing good. We're going to have something fun to play with tonight. Alright. Let me get... Let me see if I can find myself here. Okay, good. I am online. It just takes a minute sometimes for it to show up. There it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Hello. Hey, Al. All right. So, I'm going to tell you, I got very smart this time. Look, I already put, <laughs> I already stapled on my stuff to the sign um, so that I wouldn't have to worry about little Miss Belle over here freaking out. So, we already took care of that. How are y'all? Check out this flipping adorable sign I have. How stinking cute is that? Isn't that cute? So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. So we have this awesome mesh. I really like this mesh a lot. So when I have mesh that I really like, I try to just add something light, like the splatter mesh to add on to it so I don't like cover it up. And Miss Belle is back here. She's all the way over here in the corner. Little baby girl. So, let's cut some more of the splatter mesh first. And then, we'll get started on our poof. Hello, everyone. All right, so, I like to get it in the 21 inch because it is tool, and so I can cut, cut, cut. Okay, these are all 10 inch strips. And then what I can do is lay them on top of each other. Like this. Cut them in half. There. So now I have six pieces that quickly. And I don't need any more of this. I think we're done with this completely. So I can just take it off my awesome mesh roller and put it over there. All right. <laughs> I know it is so stinking hard to find this splatter mesh. However, I have seen it at Craft Outlet. So did y'all see my sign? Look at that. Look at that juiciness. All right. Here we go. So, we're just going to do poof tonight. And I already have all of the little ruffles cut up. <clears throat> I have my little 15 inch elevated orange frame. So you can tell it's elevated because you see how it goes way up and it kind of goes in a little bit. You see that? If it wasn't elevated, it would be kind of flat. Right? So when you see people say elevated, that's what they mean. It's easier if you go ahead and open all the ties up. Hello, hello. All right. I find it much easier if I put my mesh on my mesh roller here and then use it from there. I just find that it's easier. It doesn't get caught on itself as much. I just scrunch it up all together and I try to make sure that the edges are tucked under because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to do what you need to. Alright, so take this. Take your zip tie. And I always tie it right before one of these ties. Now, this is a pencil frame, so you can tell because it's thin and long. Okay. Okay. I also like to trim this off because I just don't like that little ugliness there. Don't cut it too short because you want it to stay there. Okay. The sign 
This sign is from Rachel's Crafty Corner on Etsy. In the description, there is a link to this exact sign. So you can um, go to the description and find the link. But it's uh, Rachel's Crafty Corner. Can you see it? <coughs> it's cute. And it was, it's hand painted. So everything on it is hand done. Cut out and everything. And the price on there um, includes the shipping. So it's very cute. I like her stuff. It's different. All right. And I like hand painted. I don't know. I just think that there's something very nice about hand painted. So I'm just going to pull up one, two, three, which is around 10 to 12 inches for me. And then just pull it out. Always want to make sure those little rough edges stay tucked underneath. Yep, and y'all, she is one of my cubbies. And she is trying to get some extra equipment. And so she can do them faster. Y'all, check out her shop because she's got some adorable stuff. Yeah. All right, so I just keep pulling. One, two, three. Pull it out. I like big poofy poofs. <laughs> that sounded funny, but I think you know what I mean. I like mine to be big and poofy with little curly swirlies in them. If you don't want, if you want all of yours to be uniform and perfect and correct, you can measure it out. But it's very difficult to get them all perfect. I think kind of the appeal is that they're not. Besides, only us here in the wreathing community care about that stuff. Our customers don't care about that stuff. So. Yep. They do not. Oh, let me just move that thing. Okay. Yeah, so I always have links to all my supplies in the description. Or if I don't have a link, I try to tell you about where you can find it. Because sometimes, a lot of times, my supplies come from my wholesaler. And so I don't really have like a retail place that I get it from all the time. Okay. So we finished the whole bottom. We're going to take out another lovely zip tie. This one in black. I'm going to open up my ties up here. I'm going to tell y'all, when I first started doing deco meshries, I think my poofs were about this big. <laughs> they were probably like five or six inches. I don't know. It was funny. All right. So I take this right here. I pull it up top as one whole piece, still making sure those rough edges are tucked under. Take my zip tie and just tie it up here. I have found that it works really well if you do this. So, there we go. Okay. Oops. All right, so I just count to three in my head and I just keep going. I do, what do they call it, Egyptian measurements? <laughs> Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's called. You know, it's funny because once you start doing these things, you don't really need to measure anymore because you can just kind of tell. 
about how big it is, how long it is. And those edges tucked in. Oh, and make sure you go check out. Oh, see you later. Make sure you go check out our Cubby of the Month, Robin. Robin's Re3. I think we had a wrong link the last time, but we got it all right now. I think that was the way I sent it to Owl. Ooh. Alrighty. Here we go. We're almost done with this part. Ooh, it's all nice and fluffy. I like it. There we go. All right. So now I will just cut this less because there's not a whole lot left. And I don't really need to go back and forth because this is nice and full. So I'll cut several inches and then pull it down. And I will tie it on with another zip tie. I always like to cut more than I need. And then I'll trim off what I don't need. Because the worst thing is to figure out that you, do, that you don't have enough to pull around. That's pretty bad. And it's happened to me. <laughs> That's why I cut extra. All right. So you see how nice and fluffy it is. So now. Now we can. Put our lovely little ruffles together and our ribbons. So we're short like two on the black, which I think is always the case because because I can never find the black one in the large one. I can only find it in the small one. So this mesh came from AC Moore, but you can find it at uh, Craft Outlet. All right, so you know me, I like to do efficiency. Here's my ribbons. So we have this cute one with the diamonds and the sparkles. Hoo, 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 I love the sparkles. A purple sparkle. And then the orange, purple, and black. So what we're gonna do is we will take a black, take a purple. Okay, just ruffle them right up the center like that I'm just gonna stick it in here <coughs> we're gonna do a couple of them okay put it in there all right now I'll grab my ribbons always find the center of your ribbon I like to make a crease on it because then I can remember where it is. Hello! And then we do our little curl. Grab our little ruffles here and start putting it down. I'll have to place the ruffles somewhere else. All right. Then I'll just kind of fluff these up and pull these out. Okay, so fluff these up. They will stick. So let's do this. <coughs> We're just going to make several sets. Put them in our little bodabra. And then when we run out, we'll come back and get more. So slightly different today. Just because. I like to give y'all ideas of different ways to do it. Okay. I 
I learned all about efficiency long, many years ago. <laughs> when you have to... There's only one sign left. Oh, no. Rachel, get out there and put more signs up. I hope you're on here, Rachel. I know it is pretty. Okay. So let's grab ribbons. Get our center. You okay, Bill? Yep, she just moved. She's in her bed now. <laughs> it's so funny. These dogs, they're, I think they're like slightly allergic to the grass because after they go out, they come in and they're always licking on their paws. Okay, so I switched the splatter mesh up so that the purple was at the top and the black is at the bottom. So that way we can kind of get more colors going. Okay. Hey, don't worry. All we've done so all we've done so far is do the poof and cut a little bit of ruffles. All right, so this time we want the black to be on top. So Pull these out. Oh, I love that one. Isn't that pretty? These little silky ribbons aren't my favorite, but sometimes they have the best patterns on it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm going to tell y'all something funny. So I... I was in my, uh, my um, private group last night designing, and I made a, a uh, gold and silver swag, and it turned out really pretty, and um, I went downstairs with it, and my mom said, um, yep, so I'm going to need at least two of those, <laughs> and it's going to go here, and one's, and then someone said, oh, you should put it on a piano, and then she said, oh, and I need one for the piano. <laughs> It was really funny. She was decorating our family room around that swag. <laughs> yeah, she needs to... Casey, if Rachel wasn't on here, can you message her and tell her she needs to up her quantity? All right, so we did purple. Let's do black. Because, y'all, this is my favorite sign that she has right now. awesome all righty so we got the black up okay whoops kind of mess with my ribbons as I was fiddling with the mesh there we go okay I just love sparkle Okay, good. Good deal. So she should have more, y'all, if you want to order one of these signs. Okay, let's do purple up. Because it's going to look so stinking cute. Okay, we got the purple up. Let's do our ribbons. There we go. Do some more rufflies. I find it easier if I'm doing ruffles of two things. If you just lay them end to end and just go straight up the center. I find it this way. No matter what kind of mesh you use. This, this is what works for me. Anyways. Woo. 
I'm pretty sure that Craft Outlet had it. The last time I checked, they did anyways. Unless they've run out. But AC Moore should have it by now. I don't know if they put it online or not. You'll have to check. Okay. Here we go. All right, we're getting there. Okay. Yep, she upped her signs. So go back and check. Because this one is stinking cute. I mean, come on. Look at all that purple in that sign. I love purple. I'm such a purple fool. Alright, back to black here. I have loved purple since I was a little bitty girl. And it's always stayed purple. <laughs> oh, they do they do have it online? Well that's good. Even if it's only sometimes. That's good, because I didn't think they ever put this stuff online. But their online thing is pretty new, so, and probably if you call one of the stores, they might even send it to you. If you have one that's fairly close. Like maybe the closest one. Okay, so we did black, let's do purple. I know, every time I come on, somebody wants the splatter mesh, but I'm about to run out myself. I'm almost out. And the last time I went to AC Moore, they didn't have any. Which was very upsetting. Because it's so awesome to use as an accent. Isn't it? It really is awesome as an accent. Oh, I did want to tell you, I had a request from someone to break the payments up for my um, success in six, my six weeks to YouTube success, and I did break it up into two payments, so there is a two payment option now, two months, so it's over two months. And that will, that will close August 31st. And I'm not sure when I'm going to do the next one. Okay, so we're back to purple. I haven't decided. I may not do it again this year. It just depends on how busy I get and things like that. So... All right. Let's make some more of these. Okay. There we go. One. Oh. I'm going to tell you, I was getting ready a little while ago. I knocked this one ribbon off my table like twice <laughs> before I, we even went live. It's pitiful, y'all. I'm telling you, it's just plain pitiful. Okay, so the black, we don't have, we're short. Let's see, there's eight up here. See, that's, this is three. Is this three? One, yeah, three. Okay, this is three. So we have four, so half. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Okay, get these ready. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like every other. All right. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if Charlie's on here, but I better say hi before I forget. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna do black up. Okay. Alright. 
this one, we can spread it out a little bit more and we can spread our ribbons out more. That's the great thing about the top is you don't get that all that interference from the poofs so you can really spread it out. Okay, so I will do just a plain purple. Okay, with my ribbon. Yes, group members get 60% off, whether it's one payment or two payments. My business group members. Hello, baby. <laughs> Y'all visit it. Ross just strutted by. That was hilarious. He's so stinking cute. Okay. I, it's so hard to get used to him being like taller. <laughs> the voice and the oh my gosh. It's kind of freaky when your kids start like really popping up there. <laughs> I know Carson's about to die to hit 13, but boy, I'm not as big a hurry. Yep, I'm just not as in such a hurry like he is. All right. I'm doing purple up this time. Okay. Not that it really matters because on the top it's just a little easier. Okay, and I do the crisscross. See, these silky ribbons are just not my favorite. They don't lay as well. They just don't have as much stuff in them or something. So. Oh, so my dad has gotten all his teeth out now. And he's doing pretty well. He's, he's kind of miserable, you know. That's to be expected. But he's very tough. He's, a, he's very tough. So. Alrighty. Alright. Now we'll go back to the double. All right. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Sometimes those little ties get stuck down there. these ribbons like this it's not really wired it more has like a I don't know like a very stiff edge so it doesn't act they call it wired but it's not like wired wired it has a little bit of wire in it but it's not like this wired thank you Katie hey my friend Y'all, Katie has been burning up the airwaves since she's had time to go live. She's got some good stuff out there. Oh. Okay. Katie, did you see this stinking cute sign? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> Just got 96 subscribers. I'll have to come back and read that because I, I don't really understand the question. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, and today is Teresa's birthday. If Teresa's on here, we need to wish her a happy birthday. All right. We're almost done. Oh, no, there's the purple. Okay. For a minute there, I thought I was short of purple, but it's right here. <laughs> it got covered. Nope, it's Rachel. It looks like it's hand painted. She didn't even know she could paint until she took a painting class. And then look at that. I mean, that girl's talented. That girl has got it going on. Y'all, I couldn't paint to save my life. I'm just going to tell you. Just, it just, I can paint walls, but, um, mm -mm, nope, 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 I cannot paint. Not my talent. I'm, uh, glad that other people have that talent, because that is not what I was given. My mom says, well, I don't know where you got the talent to do wreaths, and I was like, well, from you, because you decorate. She's like, well, I don't do wreaths. It's like, yeah, but you do other stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at all that sparkle. <gasps> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I love it. All right. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, do we want to do, do we want to do a bow? We could do this like down here, maybe almost sideways and then put like a bow up here. I know. <laughs> right? We are all about ribbon here. I'm just going to tell you. We are all about ribbon. So what do we want? I am in a different space. Yeah, so my father-in-law passed away. And so we really needed the guest room so that we could bring my mother-in-law for weeks at a time. So I am now in the upstairs family room. All right, so do y'all want to do a bow? Thank you. I love ribbon, too. I'm a ribbon fanatic. Yes, sparkly bow. Okay, let's see what we can do. All right. I have got to get my... I have got to get my easy bow back out, but... Bow on the side. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, look. I have two small little sparkly things to add in. Look at that. All right. Y'all know I get just a little bit too excited when it comes to bows. Because <laughs> I love a bow. All right. Let's start it off with the canvas. Okay. Any kind of particular bow y'all want? Or just whatever? So I always like to start with that little dovetail. Just kind of gives it a nice little angle. Let's do like nine inch tail. And we'll just go straight out bow maker today. Okay. Yep, the prize is a Chromebook. All right, so when I make it straight on here, hi, when I make it straight on here, I will start off by twisting it right here in the center. Let's go, let's go with six inch. I don't want it to be too, too big. All right, six inches. So I will twist, pull this up. All right, twist. Okay. I'll go ahead and kind of move these out. Uh-huh. I, 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 I can't uh, draw either. Nope. I feel like drawing and painting is the same thing in my book. <laughs> it probably is, right? Because um, you can, when you can draw, you can paint. And when you can paint, you can draw. But, um, yeah, not me. All right, let's do three. At six inch. 
So I'll just pull it against this one. Okay. All right, so the last one, you do not have to twist because it's just coming straight out. All right. Okay. So we've got three. I'll kind of move them out here. And then we'll do two. Let's do this one because, oh my gosh, do I love this one. Oh, this one is just like, it just sings, right? Okay. So we said nine inch tail. All right, so twist, go down. Here we go. And what you do with this is you can just go right in between one of these, twist, go right in between one of these. So all you have to do is make sure it matches. Listen, there's no rules. Unless it's like hugely different, it's not gonna be a huge deal if it's not exactly the same. So don't worry about it. As long as it's in the vicinity, it's gonna be fine. This ribbon is almost kind of plasticky, so takes a little bit of work, but it's all good because it's sparkly. Yep, frame is 15 inches. She is correct. All right, so I like to go ahead and put my ribbons where I expect them to be when I pull it off. Just kind of helps a little bit. There we go. All right, let's do one with this one. So we did three, we did two. The reason I like this bow is because everything works. So there's one in between those two, one in between those two, and one in between these two. There we go. Okay. Ooh, look at all this sparkle. Okay. There we go. We're still all six inch, okay? The sparkly stuff is a little bit stiffer. It's just because it has the sparkle on it. So just have a little more patience with it. And that'll come out fine. There we go. Right? I think she's stinking and talented because I sure as heck couldn't do that, y'all. Mm -mm. Not my thing. All right, we're going to add a little bit of green. Because we don't have very much green, so it'll pull out some of this. All right. And you know, this is one and a half inch. When I have one and a half inch, I like to make my tails a little longer. So we're just going to go ahead and make this shorter. Okay. So, go about right there. Let's see. So I'll just make sure these match. Yep. Okay. When you're working with a bow, if you will pull out ribbon, so that you're not fighting with your spool, that makes a big difference. And y'all, if I'm missing comments, it's because I'm concentrating on the bow. All right. So we made three loops. There we go. Okay. Trim this off. It also helps a little bit if you kind of keep these fluffed up a little so you can see what you're doing, what you're getting. All right. I love, love this one. Look at that. Woo oh, y'all, why didn't you tell me I wasn't zoomed in? Well, you probably did, and I just didn't see it. Lord. Sorry, y'all. All right. So... 
we're going to do two to go in between that. Alright, go in between this one there. Go in between this one. And in between that one. Okay. Then I'm just going to make like a little centerpiece. And then we'll trim it off. Okay. Gonna be sparkly. Okay. Okay. I will step on that sucker. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I try not to drop pins on the floor because I will come in here barefoot and I'll step right on it. Okay. I'm gonna grab one of my little uh, zip ties and I'm gonna make sure I get it under the whole bunch because boy, it stinks if you miss something and you gotta take the whole thing apart. All I have to do is just get it just started. So I'll squish it down I might have to get out one of my clear ones. I can just get it started. Watch this. <laughs> there we go. All right. Pull the whole thing out. So that's why I wanted to get it started. Because... I don't want this to come apart. Okay, you can see where it was in the bow maker. So just scoot your zip tie over there, pull it in the back. Now, you can start to tighten it. And then we just kind of, once again, make sure everything's where we want it to be. These especially will have to be moved out. Okay, so we've got our little center one. And what that does is that hides where we put our zip tie. All right, so I just make sure everything's in place. And I'll tighten that sucker down. And before it's completely tightened, oh, let's get a pipe cleaner. Let's get a So I'll take this, I'm gonna squish the bow a little bit while I get this in. There we go. So I got it underneath the zip tie. All right, now I can tighten it. See, I told you I would squash it. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you say it's 115 degrees? Holy crap. That's hot. I thought it was bad here, it was 100. Holy cannoli. Okay, I take it back. It wasn't that hot here. <laughs> holy cow. I would absolutely croak if it was 115 degrees here. I mean, seriously, I almost can't handle the 100. Because I'm hot. I'm hot natured. And I'm hot. <laughs> Just hot. Y'all hear me say that a lot. I'm hot. It's hot in here. Because I'm just hot. All right, so we get all of this fluffed up. Okay, fluff, 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 fluff. That is just insane. All right, there we go. Much better. All right, now let's move over here. Make this up. Oh, dang it. I hate it when it does that. It's very, very sensitive. All right, so we want to put this on one side and our little doojabby on the other. Is that what we decided? Oof. See, I'm getting hot just thinking about it. Okay. 
I like big bows. I like them to be juicy. So one thing I like to do is take the tails and pull my hands underneath them like this so that they will do this nice little curl. These thicker ones, I don't really have to do that with, but the canvas ones you really do. Okay, make sure everything stays all fluffed. I'm gonna curl these. My husband was messaging me today because he, in his office, the air conditioner wasn't keeping up and it was like 78 in there. So I thought we were pretty hot. <laughs> and it's, it's like a, it's like a sweaty hot. Do you know what I mean? Just like miserably sweaty, humid. It's like you go outside and it's like, you step outside and it's like wham it just hits you in the face and you're like I gotta go back inside <laughs> and I keep thinking I gotta go finish moving stuff from my little storage unit over to my warehouse but it's so stinking hot I was uh oh awesome I was you know kind of putting it off because I'm thinking it's gonna be so stinking hot in there all right, so let's put the bow on, and then we'll decide where our awesome sign goes. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. I'm just tying it underneath the... Yeah, I would never leave the house. I, it is so miserable here. This is the time of year where it gets just miserably hot. You know? Okay, so we've got our bow on. Got all my juiciness going here. I love bows. Let's get this one curling. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, now, let's see. All right, so we could put it here. We could put it here, kind of like under the bow. And we could kind of trim that off. We could put it kind of off to the side. What would we like? Yeah, um, I'm hot. My poor dad, he's on blood thinners, and so he's cold all the time. And uh, he'll like be wearing sweatshirts and stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> Twelve inches. The ribbon is twelve inches. Whew. Rachel, we're using your sign. Side. So are we talking side like where it is, like this. All right. I tell you what. If you want it to be here, just say there. <laughs> Side. Side. Uh, me too, girl. I have always been hot. I'm hot. I've been hot um, ever since they took all my parts away. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just hot. They didn't tell me that was going to happen. <laughs> Holy cow. There. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right. So we're set. So we're just going to just tie this on. Oh, my gosh. This I think this is the one I'm going to keep for my door. <laughs> I really love this sign, Rachel. This is so stinking cute. So stinking cute. Okay, here we go. See how that little bit of green brings that green out? <gasps> See? Mm -mm 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 -mm. That just makes it juicy. Okay. Alrighty. Tie it here. I'm just tying it around the frame. Just right back here. See, can you see where my hands are? That's all I'm doing. 
and I put both wire and pipe cleaner on here so just in case the pipe cleaner didn't reach and the pipe cleaner helps to fill in so that you don't have to put something other than that to keep the sign and the uh, staples in place. Right now I'll kind of see if I need to move my ribbon. Get it to come out. There we go. Alrighty. There we go. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Alright. Let's make sure it's secure. Okay. Everything is secure. And that's it, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Look how stinking cute that sign is. Look at that. <gasps> I love it. I love signs. I'm a signaholic, and I'm a ribbonaholic. If you could see how many signs and how many ribbons I have, it, it would just... I don't know. I might have a slight problem with ribbon and signs. <laughs> can help it. They're just so fun. Thank you. All right. Okay, so are there any questions that I missed? Thank you. I love it too. I just love all the sparkle. And um, I especially love these little bubbles. What do you think? Oh, you got the itchies. Yeah. Uh, I got the sign from Rachel's Crafty Corner on Etsy. There is a link in the description. And she's on here too. Rachel, are you on here? You can throw out your link if you want to, girl. Yeah. That would be pretty too. It sure would. It would be really cute if you just put this whole sign right in the middle and just made it like the whole focus. Awesome! Oh my gosh! That's horrible. October through May. Ugh. Yeah. We don't, I mean, honestly, like, if if we get snow here, it's like a major event. <laughs> and it's like everything closes down. They're like, oh my gosh, there's snow on the ground. We have to close down. And the snow usually melts the same day. So, pretty much here, it's like hot most of the year. So, yep, not a problem for us. It's just hot. Thank you. Whew. Oh no, you got kicked off? Uh oh. Okay, and don't forget to check out the um, information on the course I'm doing on YouTube. Y'all, YouTube is the bomb. You know why YouTube is the bomb? YouTube is the bomb because they like people to create stuff and put them on. Oh, good night. I hope Charlie heard me talk to him earlier. Um, they like their creators, right? So if you have a YouTube channel, you are then considered a creator. Well, YouTube is geared for the creators because, of course, they understand that that's where they make their money. Facebook, not so much. Facebook is geared towards their community, even though the businesses is what supports it. It's just a difference of how they run it. So I, I have found my place in YouTube. I never really felt that wonderful on Facebook. I do it because I have to, but... <laughs> Not very much. Thank you. Well, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night.
And, oh, don't forget, uh, the people who are in my group get 60% off that kit, off that, mm -mm, off of the course. They get 15% off my kits. Oh, and I listed, what did I do with my sign? I listed the kit with my sign tonight. What did I do with it? Y'all, seriously. It's listed as a regular kit, though. So, you should see it. And I can't believe I don't see it. We're gonna, I just took a picture of it. Well, it's listed on my shop. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, ha ha, I found it. This one. This one is now listed in my shop. And it has the mesh and the ribbon and everything that's in it. Um, how much would I sell this for? I would probably sell this one for around 100 with the bow, without the bow, I would probably list it for 90. So, kind of gives you an idea. All right, thank you. Well, y'all have a wonderful. It's if you're in my group, it's 60% off of the course, and the kits are 15% off in my group. Yep, yep. Plus, you get an affiliate link. I know, right? She did such a great job on this sign, didn't she? I know. Yep. Awesome. Yep, see, I have several of my cubbies in here. Uh-huh. We have a great group, y'all. I love our group. So, we're a family. All right, well, y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to take this down and show it to my ma. Check on my dad, see how he's feeling. Thank y'all for tuning in and hanging out with me. Awesome. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night, okay? I will see you. Oh, oh, oh. On Sunday, I am going to do this kit. So this kit that is um, August's kit, the Halloween one, I will be doing this on Sunday, okay? So that's when we'll be doing that one and then probably we'll do this one the other kit on Wednesday okay and this is gonna be the kit after that so and I think I have the ribbons picked out now but I'll show y'all next time okay y'all have a wonderful night and I will see y'all later bye y'all